The universe is full of mystery. Our Earth is but a tiny speck in this unimaginably large universe. Great and powerful civilizations have risen and fallen, and with these civilizations, vast amounts of knowledge have been lost. For example, take a look at this battery that was discovered in ancient Iraq thousands of years before electricity was invented. Or what about this 6,000-year-old ancient Sumerian seal? If you look at the image in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see that it depicts all of our planets surrounding the Sun, with their correct relative sizes and their correct orbits. Keep in mind, modern science has only discovered our complete solar system within the last 100 years. In some cases, sacred knowledge like this has not been lost but has been suppressed and hidden. As our modern science advances, things that were thought to be impossible, metaphysical, or science fiction are looking more like they could be a scientific reality or possibility. We've now proven that there are parallel universes, multiple dimensions, and communication that is faster than light using quantum entanglement. As science and spirituality advance, they continue to apparently intersect with one another. There is emerging scientific evidence that suggests that your consciousness is directly tied to the universe and that the universe itself may be entirely composed of consciousness. Yes, you heard me correctly. The universe may actually be a projection of our collective consciousness. Throughout history, scientists and other prominent people have made statements about technology and science that is now widely accepted and used today. Take a look at some things widely considered to be facts in the past, but later proven to be false. Everything that can be invented has been invented. Charles H. Duell, 1899. The aeroplane will never fly. Lord Haldane, 1907. There is a world market for maybe five computers. Thomas Watson, 1943. The atomic bomb will never go off, and I speak as an expert in explosives. Admiral William Leahy, 1944. Crazy, right? I know some of the things I've said may be a lot to take in, and you may not fully grasp the implications of what this means. So why don't I shift topics and introduce myself? Who I am is not really as important as what I'm about to share with you, but you can call me Vincent. I'll get more into who I am a bit later, but if you stick around for the next few minutes, I'm going to teach you the strange but incredibly powerful wealth-generating Midas manifestation effect. This is the secret principle that the elite 0.001% of the population use to alter their previously predetermined destiny. I'll reveal how you can secretly tap into the universe to create unlimited wealth, health, and abundance in your life. You'll be able to do this at will and generate real, spendable money almost at will. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss this. This technique taps into the hidden laws of the universe and works every time. It doesn't matter who you are or how old you are. It doesn't take hours and hours of dedicated practice or training. It's something you can do almost instantly. Before we get into this, I just want you to know this video may not be available for long because there are people who absolutely do not want me revealing these secrets. It has gotten to the point now where someone or some group have actually set fire to my office, but I'll explain that a bit later on. What many people do not realize is that there is a storm coming, and no, I'm not talking about a hurricane, and those who are not prepared are going to get swept away, and possibly not make it through alive. The truth is, we're living in some very dangerous times, and you can feel it in your gut, in your bones, that something big is coming. You can call it your sixth sense, intuition, or whatever name you wish to call it, but the truth is, we all can feel something is coming. You see, so far, we've seen some astonishing things happen recently. 
We've seen a mysterious pandemic wreak havoc across the entire world, shutting down economies everywhere, in addition to killing hundreds of thousands of people across the globe. Everyone is wondering, when will things go back to normal? And to be perfectly honest, things may never return to normal. While most people are worried about buying the latest iPhone, the pandemic has done more than just kill several hundred thousand people. It has caused levels of poverty never before seen in the third world. Nations that depend on first world countries to buy their goods for tourism and other things are suddenly left with nothing. The United Nations World Food Program, WFP, has warned that pandemic-related economic damage could cause starvation to increase over 100% around the world to a staggering 260 million people. Now, I know you may be thinking, well, those are very poor countries. That could never happen to me. When mass layoffs happen, when businesses start to go under as stimulus money runs out, or if a second or even third wave of the virus hits, your source of income, your job, may be at risk. Many people from countries like the United States, Australia, Germany, and other wealthy countries have seen a massive surge in homelessness and poverty. Ask yourself these questions. If you lost your job today, how long would you be able to live on your savings? What if there were no other jobs you could simply go out and get after your job was lost? What would you do? If you're not prepared, or one of the lucky 1% of people in the world who are wealthy, you could be in for some very hard times, and may very well, for the first time in your life, end up losing your job, your car, your house, or even your family. It doesn't have to be this way, however. Most people think that they simply have bad luck or can't control what happens to them. This couldn't be further from the truth. I'm going to show you how you can get prepared for whatever happens to us in the future and put the constant worrying about money behind you once and for all. I'm a linguist, cultural researcher, and self-proclaimed seeker of knowledge. I've spent decades deciphering ancient texts, researching ancient civilizations, and traveling the world. One day, while at a conference with an archaeologist friend of mine in Egypt, I decided to do some exploring. We decided to do some exploring around the city. My friend and I stumbled into an old bookstore off the beaten path. My friend Steve just wanted to get out of the blistering sun. But I, I was drawn to this place. I felt strange as soon as I saw this bookstore, almost as if something was about to happen. I walked in and was greeted by a very old gentleman. He smiled and nodded politely and then quickly took his gaze off of me and back to the book he was reading. I wandered around the shop looking at all of the books. As I moved toward the back of the store, I noticed a book was out of place and looked as if it was almost about to fall off the shelf. I went to push it back when I noticed behind it was another book, very old, covered in dust. I took it out and examined it and realized it was extremely old. I had the feeling of electricity running through my body, as if I knew this book was very important, but I didn't quite know why. As I flipped through the pages, I noticed drawings of ancient Egyptian gods, such as Thoth, the ancient god of magic and science, and Ra, the Egyptian sun god. Then it dawned on me. Could it be that this book was a lost manuscript from the lost library of Alexandria? Some of the markings resembled markings manuscripts from that library had, but I couldn't be sure unless I had time to study them and compare them. The Library of Alexandria was an ancient library that was said to contain vast amounts of knowledge and long-forgotten secrets, and was destroyed in what many historians believe, including myself, to be a fire, along with many rare books from all around the world. I knew I had to have this book, so I took it up to the front of the store and asked the shop owner how much. He looked at me and smiled and said in a quiet voice in his local dialect, he knew that book 
would find the right person one day. We agreed on a price and I walked out of there with the book. That is the day my life changed forever. I told my friend I was tired and wanted to return back to our hotel, but really, my mind was racing with what I had just purchased and I couldn't wait to examine it more. The book, while pretty badly damaged, was full of mystical incantations, diagrams, and what looked like to be sets of instructions, although at the time, I couldn't decipher it easily. I stayed up nearly all night trying to translate what I could without my notes and resources of my home office to help. The text that I deciphered talked about vibrational energy of the soul. It explained that every living human has a unique vibrational energy. The consciousness was the gateway to the universe and allowed the universe to directly interact with your vibrational energy. It seemed to suggest that these Egyptian gods were the ones giving this knowledge to the people. Once I returned home from Egypt, I was able to fully investigate the manuscript. Now, I know you're wondering what this has to do with manifesting abundance, money, and wealth. I promise I'm about to reveal the secret I learned, and I know you're going to absolutely love it. It was then that I discovered something very strange. References to something known as the Akashic Records. I've always thought this was a myth. However, renowned psychics like Edgar Cayce have talked about it in detail and claimed to channel information from it. The Akashic Records are mentioned here and there in some ancient manuscripts. It's believed that everything that has ever been and will be is encoded directly into the fabric of the universe and that by tapping into this phenomenon, you can essentially access information directly from the universe. While in some sort of trance, Edgar Casey was miraculously able to diagnose people with medical conditions, even though he had no medical training and had never met the people he was diagnosing. While asked questions about a variety of topics, he would give detailed, knowledgeable answers. As I decoded more of this manuscript, I uncovered detailed instructions about how to access the Akashic Records, as well as other information related to the 12 sacred chakras. Yes, there are 12, not 7, and knowledge related to the power of sound, consciousness, and the body. I was utterly fascinated by what I was discovering. Part of me wanted to dismiss it as mythology, fiction, but in my gut, I knew it was something much more than that. I decided to practice the methods described in this manuscript to access the Akashic Records. My main goal was to try to figure out if there was really something to it, and if so, to try to gain insight directly from the Akashic Records related to the diagrams, instructions, and texts I was trying to decipher from the manuscript I had recovered. You see, at this point, I had become obsessed with it. Rather than try to figure out the meaning of life or what happens when you die, I planned to try to use the records to simply help me understand the information I was transcribing from this book. It was almost like it was a riddle I was trying to solve, and I could focus on nothing else but that. After a few months of practice, I was able to eventually tap into the Akashic Records. Although I wasn't able to simply access everything I ever wanted to know instantly, things that I focused on, and with enough practice, I eventually received enlightenment. The information comes to you in the form of a thought. Imagine there is a question you want to know the answer to. If you focus on it and follow the principles outlined in the manuscript, I was able to focus on the question, and then eventually, the answer I was seeking would pop into my head as if I've known the answer all along. I came to understand through these meditative states that things like love, wealth, success, fame, intuition, and health were all directly related to your chakras and your vibrational energy signature of each. Now, if you're not familiar with what chakras are, they are essentially energy fields within your body and your soul that are tied directly with your spirit as well as your earthly body. I discovered that one chakra in particular was directly involved with an individual's wealth, 
success, and what people consider luck. It's the tenth chakra, known as the root chakra. While it's true many things you do can affect all of your chakras, there is a little-known shortcut that you can use to essentially supercharge your chakras, including your root chakra. The ancient manuscript I was transcribing made specific mention of the power of sound and its effect on the chakras. Sacred frequencies, which have close relations to sacred geometry, have the ability to amplify or even distort the vibrational energy of your chakras. By using this knowledge and some recording equipment, I began experimenting with frequencies that were known to amplify the root chakra, simply because at that time in my life, I was not doing so great financially, and I could use any boost I could in my income. The sleeping prophet, Edgar Cayce, who also was able to tap into the Akashic Records, once was quoted saying, sound will be the medicine of the future, and now I know that he was right. If that is not strange enough, Albert Einstein himself has also famously said, future medicine will be the medicine of frequencies. You see, after experimenting for a while, I believe I finally got it right. I was trying to understand what the manuscript was saying about the sound and what type of tone and frequencies would affect different chakras. I was finally able to decipher their meanings and that's when I had that aha moment where I knew I've just discovered what felt like the most important discovery in the world. Things started to radically shift for me in my life after that. It's almost as if money and opportunities started to fall right into my lap. I got a call about a distant cousin of mine that had passed away years ago, who had actually left me a fair amount of money. The will was tucked away in an old cabinet that was locked. The cabinet was about to be thrown out by the people handling his estate when someone accidentally knocked it over, breaking it. The will was then discovered, and I was eventually awarded some money. Other things started happening in my life too. Papers that I have submitted to scientific journals were suddenly, almost all at once, getting accepted after years of just sitting there. The volume of job offers, partnerships, and even sponsorships for my work exploded and I couldn't even keep up with it. My colleagues and friends just considered me to be lucky, but I knew it had nothing to do with luck, but everything to do with what I had discovered about amplifying the vibrational energy of my root chakra. As I learned more about the manuscript and its secrets, I began to improve my methods. Eventually, some of my friends caught on and asked me if I would help them as well. I was glad to help, and I was also curious if it truly would work for them as well. One of my friends I started working with suddenly had a huge windfall in the stock market and made so much money on such a long shot that he was able to quit his job for good. Another one of my friends, who had been laid off due to the pandemic and desperately trying to find a new job, suddenly got a call back from his old job and asked if he'd be able to return. The thing is, they didn't want to give him his old job back, and they offered him his old boss's position, which he had been passed up for several times in the past. I could go on and on about the literal miracles that started occurring in my life and those around me, but what I really want to tell you about is what happened next. Eventually, word got around about what I was doing. I started offering to help people until it got to be too much, and I had to turn people away. It wasn't until one day someone relatively famous reached out to me and told me they've heard about my reputation and wanted to work with me and for me to teach them. Initially, I said no, but they were persistent and offered me a large amount of money if I helped them. So, I reluctantly agreed. He introduced me to other famous and very successful people whom I will not mention. But let's just say, A-list actors from Hollywood famous athletes, talk show hosts, and politicians. That's the level it grew to. All of them wanted an edge with their career, to increase their wealth, their success, their fame, and more, and were willing to try anything to achieve it. Through some of these very connected people, I learned that other very powerful people also were utilizing these very same principles I had learned. Apparently, 
People like Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, and even Tony Robbins have used these wealth amplifying techniques. Not everyone uses this knowledge for good purposes, however. One of the people I was helping was explaining to me how extremely wealthy people, billionaires, are not so interested in money and wealth anymore, but are more interested in power and secret knowledge. Whether it's seeking means for them to transcend death and upload their consciousness to a type of computer, or a way to change the world to their view of what it should be, the very wealthy and powerful elite do not think the same way the average person does. And let me tell you, they are into some very strange things. Up until this point, things had been going pretty well for me. However, not long after I had that conversation with one of my students about the ultra-powerful elite, I received an anonymous letter to my office. It simply read, Some things are not meant to be known. Stop what you're doing, or else. I was pretty shaken up by it, and wondered who could have done something like this? Was it a prank? Was it someone I've offended in the past? Or was it a literal threat? As a bit of time went by, I worried about it less and less until I nearly forgot about it. And one night, while out enjoying an evening with friends, I had a weird feeling come over me, almost as if you knew something was wrong, but didn't know what. The entire evening, I couldn't shake the feeling. I decided to go home early that night, and as I always do, I stopped by my office first to do some late night reading. To my utter surprise, I saw fire trucks where my first floor office was. My heart sank, my office was ablaze, and worse yet, my manuscript was inside, along with most of my notes. The police were there as well, and they wouldn't let me anywhere near the fire. I went home and laid awake the entire night thinking about the mysterious note I had received about a month earlier. Had, had someone tried to kill me? Or simply sent me a message? Or was it simply an electrical fire? You know, some kind of accident. The next day I went to the police station. An older officer sat down with me and said, Vincent, you're lucky to be alive. We have reason to believe that if you would have been in that office that night, you wouldn't be standing here right now. The muscles in my throat could barely move. I was almost paralyzed with fear. My worst case scenario was actually coming true. Why do you think that, officer? I finally mustered. Well, we traced the blaze to your office. Someone poured gasoline all over your office after they turned the place upside down practically. Did you happen to store something valuable there? Money? Jewelry? Something of value? I still couldn't believe what I was hearing. It was almost as if I were dreaming, but this was no dream. It was a living nightmare. No, I replied, not really, just my work and several of my books. Hmm, the officer replied, while looking at me, almost in a suspicious manner. I knew deep down what they were looking for. They must have been after the book I had recovered back when I was in Egypt, along with my notes. I thought to ask about the security cameras, but the officer told me that someone had disconnected them prior to the fire starting. I was pretty shaken up after what had happened, and decided to take that note I had received very seriously. I stopped helping people learn about the miracle of being able to supercharge their chakras. I turned away large sums of money from famous people and basically tried to lay low for a while. I didn't feel safe. I finally decided to sell my house and leave the country I called home my entire life. I eventually felt safe again, having left my old life behind. It was then I started researching who may have wanted me to stop sharing the knowledge I had obtained. I started realizing that there were very powerful and old groups who had access to some of the knowledge I had discovered and much more. These shadowy secret societies and individuals strive to keep knowledge like this hidden and do not want it becoming mainstream. Remember what I said about the very wealthy? They strive for power. And remember the old adage, knowledge is power. 
As I was doing deep research, I started learning about groups like the Knights of the Templar, which despite what many people think, still exist in the shadows today. The Illuminati, which is also very well known and said to contain many famous powerful people. Many of these groups are offshoots of the Freemasons, which most people have heard of in some form or another. There are other groups, like the Bilderberg Group, which wield tremendous amounts of global influence, or the Order of the Golden Dawn, which have their roots going back to ancient Egypt and utilize many magic and occult rituals. Many of these groups have different levels for its members, where higher-ranking members have access to more information. One thing is for sure, however, many of these groups at their highest levels have access to knowledge most of the world does not, and they go to great lengths to conceal that and prevent others from getting it. Suppressing knowledge by these groups has been happening for centuries, if not for thousands of years. You can see examples of this throughout history. J.P. Morgan famously told Nikolai Tesla, one of the greatest inventors the world has ever known, that you couldn't charge for wireless energy and refused to fund his project even though he had a working prototype. If it wasn't for J.P. Morgan, we may be enjoying free wireless electricity right now. Nikolai Tesla also had famously said, if you wish to understand the universe, think of energy, frequency, and vibration. Clearly, he understood more about the laws of the universe than people realized, which is possibly why, at the time of his death, his hotel room where he was living was immediately raided by the U.S. government, and all of his research was confiscated and never made public. What else is being suppressed? I know for a fact it's possible to rejuvenate your own body, because I read about it in that manuscript I recovered, and I've done it with my own body. It's not just technology, health, and knowledge about how the universe works that is covered up or hidden. It's also knowledge about our history. Now, I have to tell you, the stuff I'm about to share with you is my personal opinion and is based on years upon years of my own personal research. I believe there are clues all around us. For example, take a look at the pyramids in Egypt. We're taught that they were built with slave labor more than 4,000 years ago. That's interesting because some of those stones used in its construction weighed up to 100,000 pounds. When you realize it would be impossible during that era to transport such stones across those vast distances, you start to realize what you've been told isn't the whole picture. Even more confusing is that the Great Pyramid of Giza is built in the exact center of the Earth, where the longest latitude and longitude lines intersect. How would builders 4,000 years ago know where the exact center of the Earth was? The pyramids also have a system of tunnels underneath them, and several artifacts have been discovered there. These have never been shared with the public. You have to wonder what they found there, and why are they refusing to reveal it? The point of me mentioning this to you is that there is evidence of suppressed information all around us. I could give you hundreds of examples, but these are just a few. You have to understand, many powerful groups do not want you to have the knowledge to be able to manifest wealth or health at will. Sometimes, these powerful secret societies will even drop clues to the unknowing public. For example, the popular show The Simpsons had an episode where the character, Homer, writes an equation quickly on a chalkboard. Turns out, it was the equation for the mass of the God particle, or scientifically known as the Higgs boson particle. The thing is, this wasn't actually discovered by CERN until 14 years after it aired on the show. Or when the show eerily showed this magazine cover appearing to read 9-11 back in 1997, predicting the World Trade Center disaster that happened in 2001. At first, it may look like a very, very strange coincidence. Until that is, you find out that the show's creator happens to be a 33rd degree Mason. Clearly, the elite have access to secret knowledge. I found that some groups like to either warn or telegraph events that are about to take place, 
which could have been happening in the show The Simpsons. What I'm starting to notice now, however, are some very alarming things about our coming future. Take, for example, this U.S. quarter that came out the first few months of 2020. It shows, of all things, a bat on the quarter. Bats in Wuhan, China, allegedly were responsible for the virus passing to humans before it spread to the rest of the world. Is the bat being featured on the 2020 U.S. quarter before the pandemic starting a coincidence? Or was it a warning? Well, what if I told you that in 2019, Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft, appeared in a documentary where he predicted, and I do say that in quotes, a killer virus could originate in China's wet markets and quickly infect the entire world. What does the wealthy elite know that you do not? What do they have planned for you next and the rest of the world? I won't go into specific details, but from what I have uncovered, it certainly doesn't look good. And if you think this pandemic is bad, what's coming next may totally shock you and turn your life upside down. So that's why it's critically important that you get prepared. The best way for you to be prepared is to be financially secure and healthy. And that's what I want to help you with. You see, I decided I no longer want to spend my time helping elite sports stars, Hollywood actors, and other wealthy individuals get more wealthy and successful. I realized the absolute danger that we're all in after I had my entire office set on fire in an attempt to silence me from spreading this information. After I left my home country and had more time to study what was truly going on, I came to understand more about the negative forces at work, and I knew that I had to pass my knowledge to the people that really need it. People like you. You see, I don't believe in accidents. I believe in free will. But I know destiny plays a role in everyone's lives, which is what brought you here today. Believe me, it is not your fate to have to struggle financially for your entire existence on Earth although you may feel that way. Once you understand the principles of what I call Midas Manifestation, it is as easy to change this as it is to change a channel on a TV set. Before I let you in on these principles that will supercharge your ability to generate cold hard cash, financial stability, and independence, all I ask is that you agree to a few rules. One. You will only use this method if you truly want wealth for ethical and moral purposes. You will not use it to raise funds to support malicious or negative causes. Two, you must have more than a serious desire to experience life-changing income. This is for action takers only. This presentation will only be online until we reach our predetermined limit of 350 candidates. Once this quota has been reached, this page has been electronically programmed to remove itself. I do not want to raise a lot of attention to myself because of what happened to me before. People do not want me releasing this information. I've put together everything I've learned from that ancient book that I was able to test and verify for myself. I've also helped countless others increase their wealth, their fame, and their success. I've condensed the teachings to five separate audio tracks. These tracks each focus in on different chakras and tune them in such a way that it will dramatically supercharge your root chakra, which is directly related to your wealth, success, and prosperity. The first track, called Manifest Destiny, targets your third eye chakra in order to begin the process of retuning your brain to be able to directly connect with universal consciousness. This is vital for the Midas manifestation effect to work properly. This track uses sacred 288 hertz frequencies in order to directly interact with your third eye chakra. The second track, called Divine Willingness, targets your crown chakra which is directly connected with your ability to receive abundance from the universe. This Midas manifestation effect will not work unless your crown chakra is tuned properly. This track uses divine 216 hertz frequencies 
in order to directly interact with your crown chakra. The third track, called Anahata Bliss, targets your heart chakra. This chakra is important because if not tuned correctly, it is responsible for negative thought patterns that can prevent you from achieving wealth or the universe bestowing it on you. This track uses 639 hertz frequencies in order to directly interact with your heart chakra. The fourth track, called Manipura Consciousness, targets your solar plexus chakra. Focusing this chakra into the correct alignment with your other chakras, it will raise your consciousness, which will amplify all of your chakras. This track uses 528 hertz frequencies in order to directly interact with your solar plexus chakra. The fifth track, and most important track, is called Midas Unleashed and focuses in on your root chakra. This is the chakra that is directly involved with your ability to generate wealth, success, well-being, and what some people call luck. This track uses 369 hertz frequencies in order to directly interact with your solar plexus chakra. I've also created a quick start guide that will get you started with this and explain how often you should listen to the tracks, when to listen to them, and for how long. I want to make it perfectly clear, this will work for anyone as long as you follow the simple instructions and listen to the audio as directed. I've also compiled a 118-page illustrated ebook I call the Midas Manifestation Handbook that details everything I've learned from decoding that ancient manuscript. It details everything from how to obtain love, health, and wealth to other secret principles of the universe and how to use them to your benefit. It is not required that you read this for Midas Manifestation to work but there is a lot of amazing information in here you're not going to want to miss. Since you've also patiently listened as I told you my story, I'm also going to give you a 128-page ebook that I've created with a world-renowned hypnotist. You're going to be absolutely shocked at what you learn after reviewing this material. I believe everyone deserves access to all of this information. You shouldn't have to be famous in a secret society or fabulously wealthy in order to understand the laws of the universe. As humans, our destiny is the universe. It's where we come from, and it's where we go when we pass on. We are all entitled to understand the laws of the universe. Somewhere along the lines of history, this knowledge was lost and suppressed. Now, for the most part, only the very powerful and wealthy have access to it. I'm going to change that right now. Everyone deserves to live their life to the fullest without having to worry about money. You have the power within you at this very moment to be wealthy, successful, and happy. And I'm going to show you how to force the universe to manifest this for you. I've literally had powerful people try to silence me for revealing this information in the past. Heck, I could have died but I believe it is too important not to reveal. I'm going to give you instant access to my entire Midas manifestation system. You're not going to have to pay $100,000. You're not even going to have to pay $1,000 to get access to this priceless information that you can use to generate wealth nearly immediately. All I'm asking for is a one-time payment for the price you see below. That's it. Literally, for the price it costs to go out to dinner once, you're going to get access to life-changing information that will radically alter your entire life. Now, I know you may be asking, why charge for this information at all if I want to get the word out? The reason is twofold. The first reason is that the more money I raise, the faster and easier I can spread the word to others. I'm no longer counseling wealthy private individuals, teaching them these principles. Instead, I'm focusing on helping as many regular people as I can. I've received over $100,000 from people in the past for this very same material I'm about to give to you. While I can still use Midas Manifestation to generate wealth for myself, I'd rather focus on helping others. 
I feel like it has become my mission in life. And it's also the best revenge I can think of for the people who want to silence me and nearly cost me my life. Secondly, I need to make sure that you're serious. I'm only able to help a limited amount of people, and I know that if I just gave this information away, people may not take it seriously. You'll get instant access to my entire system, no matter where you are in the world, even if it is 3 a.m. I'm so confident that this will work for you that I'm offering a 60-day money-back guarantee. Absolutely no questions asked. You'll finally be able to manifest your life of abundance, wealth, and have freedom from worry. You'll be prepared for whatever comes your way in the future, knowing that you have a large amount of money saved up in the bank and do not need to worry about whatever comes your way. The laws of abundance and the principles of Midas manifestation are as real as the sky is blue. It's time you started to reap the benefits. Why should only a select few people with access to this secret information get to benefit from it? Click the button below to receive instant access while you still can. And I'll be waiting for you on the other side to help you get started.